Welcome to this review of ASUB's new products, namely ASUB Transparent and ASUB Yellow. Uh, today I'm outside because it's brighter and it'll be easier to see the reflections and how we deal with them using one of these scanning sprays. So, why do you need a scanning spray with 3D scanners? Because sometimes you have to scan challenging surfaces. For structure light scanners, Challenging surfaces are things that are reflective or transparent. Because of the way the technology works, we need to reduce that shine, that glare, or the transparency on the surface of the object. The light from the structured light scanner needs to be visible on the surface of the object for us to actually be able to scan it, to capture it, and what all of these scanning sprays do is allow us to give it a nice surface finish. So many people in the 3D scanning industry are familiar with ASUB Blue, ASUB Orange. Uh, these are vanishing sprays, so you can spray it on the surface of an object, create a nice even finish, scan your object, and then in a couple hours this product completely evaporates, doesn't leave any residue. Uh, ASAP Blue takes about an hour, ASAP Orange takes about 24 hours, depending on airflow movement. Um, ASAP White is a permanent spray that you can wipe off, and that's one of the oldest sprays out there. Um, ASAP Green is something that you can put in an air gun and spray larger objects. Um, but today I want to show you ASAP Yellow and Transparent. So ASAP Yellow is meant to be used with an airbrush and it allows you to have a thickness of less than a micron. So you're, you're barely adding any thickness to the surface of your object, and this is really good for small objects. But my favorite product so far is ASAP Transparent. So it works a lot like ASAP Blue and ASAP Orange, it has a very thin coating, but instead of turning the surface of your object white, it gives it a doling effect. So you're still able to capture color information. So this is really great for visual artists, for virtual reality, augmented reality, anyone who needs to capture objects in 3D and still have that color texture be very true to the original object. So today I'm gonna to scan a variety of objects. I'll spray them before and after. Um, and you can see how the results vary. For the first one, let's take a look at how the traditional ASUB vanishing sprays work compared to ASUB transparent. So I'll take one object and scan two sides of it using ASUB blue and then another one with ASUB transparent. So let's take a look at the results here. This is what we're used to scanning with, which is A sub blue or A sub orange, where if we need to scan something that's highly reflective or transparent like this, the structured light would actually just penetrate that surface and it would be noisy, it would be scanning on the inside of that cylinder. So we would add this finish to be able to get a nice capture of this model. Um, but of course, with that white finish, we can't capture the colors for other applications. So the other side of this is ASAP transparent. Depending on how heavily you apply it, it can give it a really, a really strong doling effect like you could see right here, um, or a much lighter one as you could see right here. It's probably not as easy to see on this colored object to see how much the doling effect takes place, but I can tell you that from areas like this to areas like that, the scanner is going to be able to pick up the surfaces much, much better.
So if you're interested in trying any of these products yourself, they are available on our shop. I hope that this review has been helpful and thank you for watching.